Hola amigos. Hola. Buenos dias, everybody. Oh, very good. Welcome to Caroline and Alice's little morning and broadcast. Look, and look at the, this plant. Yes, it's we got, got... I got a pumpkin and, and green leaves. Well, we thought we would show you our plants this morning to see how they're getting on. I don't know if you remember, we had a tiny little beetroot shoot recently and now it's getting quite big. Only one though, only one ever grew in this little pot, but I'm sure it's going to be a really delicious beetroot and when it's this ready. Big Tracy, pot. I wonder how yours are getting on because yours are very good. We've also got some, what's this one? Remember? Basil. Well done, we've got some basil growing, just getting nice and big. And my friend Aiden, he's growing, a, I think it's a pepper plant or chili plant. And he was counting his leaves yesterday. And do you know his chili plant has something like, was it 38 leaves, Aiden? Absolutely amazing. Ours doesn't have that many. I think it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Well behind you, Aiden. You are doing amazingly well and looking after your plant beautifully. Thank you so much for taking such good care of it. We've also got our little violas, which I think might be ready to go outside because they're actually looking like they're fed up in this tiny pot that I made. I think they want to go outside and grow a bit more. So we might do that later on today. And they've all had nice wee drinks of water and they're coming on nicely, aren't they, Alice? Very good. Don't pour water on your hand pit. Just put it straight into the plant. Okay, so today is Thursday today. It's Thursday. It's the second last day of the week. Tomorrow will be Friday, okay? So we've got Thursday and tomorrow is Friday. And Friday is one of my favorite days of the week now because Friday means dancing on the Facebook Live and I love doing that with my friends. So I hope you can guys can tune in tomorrow. So <laughs> Alice is getting ready already. Baby shark, <laughs> Baby shark What a shame no one's requested that one. Maybe we'll get that one added to another day. <laughs> okay. Baby so it's Baby shark, The 14th of May. We're nearly halfway Baby through the month of May. Crazy, isn't it? The time goes really fast and it goes really slowly, depending on the kind of day you're having. Okay, thank you. Mommy shark. Okay, so it's Thursday the 14th of May today. Well, Thursday today has been cooking day and we have been making some Portuguese custard tarts for our theme, for our little Portuguese theme this week. Well, I've kind of been doing it myself. So right now, I think we're gonna cut away to the recipe. Hi everyone. So this morning we are going to be making our Portuguese custard tarts. Um, hopefully um, my class have their recipes handy and if anyone else watching would like me to send the recipe then just let me know and I'll get it out to you. But step one in our recipe is to preheat our oven um, to 190 degrees or 170 if you've got a fan oven or I guess 180 if you're feeling lucky. So um, I'm going to go to my oven just now, here we go, and turn my dial round to somewhere between 160 and 180 and that should be fine, hopefully. You can see I've got my recipe here on my computer ready to go. Okay, step two on my recipe is to roll out your pastry, but I do have a small confession to make. I cheated a tiny bit and bought ready rolled pastry. <laughs> um, it was genuinely all they had in the shop, so that is why, <laughs> but uh, it's also gonna save me a wee bit of time. So my pastry is actually pre-rolled, uh, pre lucky me. Um, but if yours isn't, then just get yourself a rolling pin, roll it out onto a wee floured surface till it's about that thick. Okay, just about half a centimetre or less, it's probably fine. And what we're going to be doing is cutting out circles. So I am going to use, once again, my trusty noodle pots. I love these things. Uh, that's quite a good size of circle for what I'm going to use. I've also got my muffin tin at the ready, just a little bit greased just so that the pastry cases don't stick, hopefully don't stick. Right, I'm going to set my camera down here a wee minute, hopefully it won't fall over. There we go. Probably a bit squint but that's all good. Okay, so I'm going to use my trusty noodle cup to squash out a wee circle 
in my pastry. There we go. I have to press quite hard actually because it's not very sharp at the edges. There we go. And out comes a nice pastry circle. And I'm going to just put that inside one of my little muffin tin slots. There we go. I'm just kind of fill it up a wee bit. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. I don't think it does anyway. I've never made these before, so we'll soon see. Here's another one that I'd already tried earlier. There we go. And pop that one in here. I'm not quite sure how much this recipe is going to make, but I think I've got enough pastry for even six, I think would be a good number. Okay, so here we go. It's another one. There we go. Another nice circle. So, now I don't have Alice helping me out for this bit, but I'm sure you understand. <laughs> She's quite small and it's hard for her to reach up to the counter. So that's my excuse anyway, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, so here's another circle. So this is gonna be my fourth one. There we go. Here it comes. Oh, this one's definitely getting pulled and stretched a bit. But I think the wee interesting one shapes are my favorite, so that'll be good. Goes in again. So look, we can see we've got four that are done. This one's got a bit of overhang. That'll be nice, I'm sure it tastes delicious. I think we'll go for two more. I think we'll go for six all together. So, of course, there is going to be quite a bit of wastage, so if you want to, feel free to ball it all up, all your wee end bits, squish it back together, roll it out again, and cut out a few more. Especially if you've got a bigger family and everyone's going to want to taste these yummy custard tarts. I'm looking at you, Grant, I think you might have a few people that want to taste, so I think you should make a few extra. I'm just going to stick with six for quickness just now. Okay, so as you can see, I put my six pastry cases in the muffin tin. So I'm gonna get rid of this extra pastry. I'll maybe make a couple more later. I might even just stick it back in the fridge and I think it'll keep for a while. So that is my pastry cases. Back to my recipe. The next thing is to whisk our eggs and our custard together. So I couldn't even get a tin of custard today. What a nightmare, but I could get the small one. So I've got two small cartons of custard and my two eggs. Okay, pop you back up here. There we go. And let's see. So we're going to have egg number one. I do love cracking eggs. There goes one. No shell bonus. Egg number two. Oh, yes, no shell again. Done well that time. And my custard. Yum. So of course, if you know Gordon Ramsay or Delia or anyone like that was making this, they would never use custard from a pot. I'm sure they would make lovely homemade custard, but nice for them it's just not really my way <laughs> if there's an easier way to do it why not in this way we can feel like we've made something ourselves we didn't have to spend hours and hours at it so oof, look at this i have got two eggs and some custard and my um jug doesn't that look lovely <laughs> so i'm gonna whisk it up go, oh, there we are so what this is going to do, our eggs are going to make the custard set. When eggs are cooked, as you know, they go solid. So that'll help the custard to go quite firm when it's cooked. Okay, there we go. And I think the other thing I was to put in was the juice and rind of a lemon. So I've got my lemon. I'm going to do the rind first actually. I'm sure there's better ways to do this, but I'm just gonna use a thin grater and just kind of grate the skin. Not too deeply, just lightly grate the top of it just to get that yummy, yummy lemony flavor in there. Absolutely love the smell of freshly cut lemons. It's one of my favorite, favorite smells. I always have to stop for a reason. <laughs> and it's lovely. Okay, they always say an unwaxed lemon. I don't know, I've never really been able to tell if it's waxed or not, but it's, I'm sure it'll be fine. 
So there goes my lemon rinds, and I'm gonna cut my lemon in half now. Okay. Like this. Stop burning this now. Gorgeous. Okay, and I'm gonna squeeze. What I usually do sometimes is put my fingers over it just so there's no um what do you call them? Seeds going in. No one wants a seed in their tar. And go. Oh, this is a really juicy lemon. I'm not gonna squeeze it too hard because it actually seems like quite a lot. Okay. And back I go with the whisking. There we go. So I've got my eggy lemony custard. Actually, it's really nice and thick already. And that's it. So the next thing I need to do is pour my custard mix into each one of these cases. So let's see how that goes. Wish me luck here, guys. Can we see? I don't know if we can see. Let me see. It's one of my, not one of my strong points. It's good angles. There we go. So I'm in this one. So I'm in here. Can you see? So I'm in this one. That's my third. Oh, four, five, six, and I've definitely got a fair amount of mix left over, so probably would have been a good idea to make more than six. I think it would definitely do eight. Um, anyway, so that is my custard, egg, lemon, and pastry all ready to go in the oven. So I'm going to pop them in just now, and I'm going to check back in in around... 35 minutes and we'll find out how they're looking. Okay, wish me luck everyone. Okay, so there are actually eight minutes left on the timer, but the kitchen is smelling very custardy and my oven actually has a history of being pretty hot. So I'm gonna open the door and have a wee look and see how they're looking. Okay, <laughs> they have puffed right up. Ooh. And they've gone quite golden and brown. I actually think these are probably cooked. So I'm actually going to take them out now and leave them to cool for a few minutes and see how they're looking. You guys know your own ovens. If you think they need a bit longer, then definitely leave them in a bit more. But mine were quite small and my oven is pretty hot. So I think I'm just going to take them out and let them cool. And then we'll see what we're going to do next. Mm, they smell amazing. Season. All right, so the tarts have been cooling for a little while and I have transferred them onto my grill pan. I forgot to mention before that after I stopped rolling the first time, I made a couple of extra ones because I still had some um, pastry left and things like that. Well, it's just as well I did because um, a couple of them didn't survive um, getting out of the muffin tin. So a couple of casualties there, but um, well, I think we all know I'll be attacking them with a spoon later, so it's fine. Okay, so the last step is to sprinkle some icing sugar. There we go, hope you can see onto my tarts. There we go. Oh, I'll put a fair amount on. I want them to taste the most clean. <laughs> okay, it's quite a lot. <laughs> right, okay, there we go. Uh, I've got some icing sugar tarts and I have to put them under a hot grill just for a minute or two until the uh, sugar kind of caramelizes and goes nice and brown. So I'm going to do that and next time I check in, it's going to be tasting time. Woo! Season. Okay, so our Portuguese tarts have been grilled. So they look a little burnt actually, but it's quite nice. I think it's just caramelized sugar, not, not burnt sugar. And we're going to have a little taste of them. Are we ready? You have that bit. Mmm. 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 Not good? Yeah. Well, I think Bonnie's very interested as well. <laughs> Bonnie suddenly appeared behind us when we're eating. Isn't that funny? Mm, another bit as well. Mm. Well, may not be quite an authentic Portuguese custard tart, but I think it's pretty tasty and it took way less time than a proper one. So, job well done, Ellie. Mmm, I would make those again. Well, if you guys try making these at home, please let me know. I'm going to put the recipe up on the Facebook page as well if anyone fancies giving it a try because you really don't need too much in the way of equipment or ingredients. And uh, that's something a bit different and it also makes the kitchen smell amazing. The kitchen smells great right now. So, 
hold on one second, Ellie, because we are just going to have our little snacks and then we're going to do some other stuff. I think maybe some exercise to work this custard off. Okay. Hope you guys have a brilliant day at home and see you tomorrow morning for a good old dance on the Facebook, won't we, Ellie? We'll get our dancing shoes on tomorrow and see you there. Okay. Uh, ciao, everybody. Ciao, everybody. <laughs>